Hello. I realise I haven't made a, a video for quite some time, so I thought I'd better get round to it again. So today, what I'd like to talk about is Steam Hunt Bling, in particular, medals. Now, before we start, there's a few things to be aware of. Um, medals that you might not be entitled to, so either an award or a, especially a military campaign, uh, they tend to be frowned upon a bit. In America, wearing medals and uh, awards that you're not really entitled to is known as stolen valor. Um, it's, and there's been some quite embarrassing scenes in Britain as well where people have been caught wearing medals on parades that they're not entitled to. Um, it's not the done thing, really. Uh, the other thing to be aware of is as well that the medal ribbon represents the award and the campaign that uh, might have been fought, as well as the medallion itself. So it's something to be aware of. Now, there are quite a few places that sell faux medals or pretend medals. Alchemy, for example, is a company that sell, sells um, false medals. Great, they really do look good. Um, there's no way that they could be confused with a proper medal whatsoever. Um, they did a couple of years ago have one medal where the ribbon it was attached to um, was actually the General Services um, Campaign Medal Ribbon for the British Army. No, not a good thing. So, just to be aware on that one. You don't have to use a medal ribbon. You can make a ribbon if you're quite talented, or you can pick up ribbons of a, an appropriate width from haberdasheries and sewing stores. Um, you can use strips of material as well. It's, anything goes. They, some people with their um, homemade ribbons, actually, I think, some of them look better than issued medals. Now, which brings me to what I'm wearing. I've gone a bit overboard. I wouldn't go out dressed with this amount of bling on. Or would I? So, what we've got here is there's not a single genuine military medal ribbon here. You can get uh, medal ribbons which are from extinct branches of the European royal family um, or um, extinct religious orders. Um, I've got some here which are um, branches of the, the Dutch royal family. Um, this one in particular, that's actually the House of Orange Nassau, the Dutch royal family. And there's some, uh, some odd religious ones as well. This one, for example, is actually the Order of the Phoenix. It's a Greek religious order. Yes, the Order of the Phoenix. You can get a medal ribbon. Great. Now, that brings me nicely to the medals themselves. As you can see, I've got quite a selection. A lot of them are from key rings. And a lot of them are pendants, cheap pendants. And some I've just found and just put them together and thought, they look good. Uh, this one in particular um, is it's an old pendant. It's a snowflake pendant. And if you're asking me what the award is for, because you will get people saying, what, was, what were you awarded that for? That's for the amount of times I've had to suffer through Frozen. Yes, I deserve that medal. I've earned that medal. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, you can get these medal ribbons, uh, cut them to either cut to a length, or you can cut them to a length, and then you make your own ribbons up. Um, this one I quite like. This is actually a genuine uh, metal ribbon clasp on the back. And on the front, yeah, the ribbons fit. But the medallions themselves, if you recognise them, they're the Holy Trinity. I quite like that. So I'm quite pleased with that. Now, some of the ribbons can be confused with military medal ribbons. Um, this one in particular, the House of Ar uh, NASA Orange, is very similar to a medal ribbon that was issued to troops in World War One, as an avid medal collector of mine, a friend of mine, pointed out to me. So when I pointed out, it's actually you know, not the real McCoy. He was, he was quite happy with that. Another one as well is you can have one medal ribbon which has served a multitude of purposes. This one in particular here, that one there, um, it's the British Fire Brigade Long Service Medal ribbon. It's also the Order of Lenin, but it goes back even further than that. It's actually the 1894 Hong Kong Plague Medal ribbon, which was issued to nursing staff who tended to um, sufferers of the plague in Hong Kong. So it does go back quite some time. So some medal ribbons, they might have a military connotation in one aspect, but in others, it's a civilian one, or it just you know, it's from something that doesn't exist anymore. So. Yeah, you, you take your pick, really. So there we go. Medal ribbons. Be aware, uh, but also enjoy yourself. And as I said, wearing medals, yeah, it really does set things off. 
I quite like them. Enjoy.